Uh, hi everybody. I'm doing my podcast from uh, uh, the phone and uh, the voice recording at the same time. So the, the video recording all at the same time. And we're starting a brand new thing. We're making it so that the morning podcast and the podcasts that go up on SoundCloud are, are made at the same time and on the same um, air and the short 1717s that we've been doing for a long time we didn't always coordinate a video with them we just did a podcast audio because it was a lot easier and because we were really talking to the insiders you know and that's that's what we're doing basically uh and and that's a real good thing but today on the show i want to talk to you about uh, that strategy and what we're doing and why it's changing so that you don't have any problems with uh, uh, what you see or hear from us because we're 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 trying to grow uh, during the the virus some of our staff did actually decide to go be with their family during that time since uh, they were going to respect the law and be uh, doing what they had to do for a long period of time um, and, and I agreed. I, I said that's fine. And I think that's wonderful because we all need to respect and understand what that uh, was all about. But th there's been some really wild and great awakenings. And I really want to encourage people to focus and to really pay attention to what's going on because there is a lot more going on than you think. Uh, when you just try to uh, look at at the world at large and see, you know, basically what is uh, going on and what's not. And uh, it really is an interesting uh, proposition, you know. We, we have an awful lot of stuff happening and we really are uh, working on a global scale with uh, people and uh, places where where it's never been dealt with like this before. I, I, I'm trying to gather my thought as I'm speaking, so it's really hard for me to just just make it simple and keep it real simple. But the idea that I'm I'm trying to propose is that this group of people that have amassed fortunes by funneling lots of money off of uh, Americans and putting together their plan that they did so well uh, for that eight years of Obama. Uh, it was just an awful, horrible, horrible situation. A lot of people really saw it uh, back after 2001 hit, but they just didn't realize that the downward spiral that went from 2000 to 2004 was as bad as it was. And then in 2005 and 6, a lot of people just started to normalize again after uh, 2001. And they started to just, you know, come back to Earth. And, that, and, that, and I can see that. I can see that, you know, after such a traumatic event, losing your job, losing your career, uh, losing your livelihood and seeing things continually fall apart after 2001 and 2002 and you know a lot of people there were 35,000 people or 30,000 people I know of uh, where I was at that were laid off in one day and and there were there were a lot more the whole entire nation had a lot of people with a lot of different varying uh, scenarios happening to them and so uh, 9/11 was a really uh, traumatic event, and it was it was something today that we can all look back on, and we can really see without any doubt. We don't need much more um, real proof or evidence that it was as bad as it was. Um, and the fact that there's just a lot of information out there about what really did happen. There's a whole lot of parts that you don't see, you don't have access to, they won't give you access to them because they don't exist. You know, I mean, there's a whole bunch of excuses on their part. It's just like, you know, uh, some of these places that 
you think that you're going to get information from then you find out they've been grinding it and making it into sawdust for ages and you know landfilling it and uh they've they've done this with thousands and thousands and millions of records and all kinds of other stuff it's not only bit burning but it's paper burning too and they turn it into worm food and everything else there they're doing some pretty rotten stuff to you as far as your history goes and that's uh to be expected when you're when your enemy is such a silent warrior and such a, a deep, dark entity. I mean, uh, how long has it been since the uh, underscore CI? Uh, oh, I goofed that all up. It's the C underscore A. <laughs> now, how, that's the bad side of the good, good uh, one. If there is one of either, I can't even believe it. And I'm having a really hard time telling you... Um, anything uh, of facts this morning because I really don't even care we're talking about objective thinking we're talking about progressive uh, mind thoughts that they have you know they, they have people I know have such such really uh, unbelievable thought process and logic for what they uh, they do and they just don't use common sense so it's hard to say when you're uh, talking to somebody who doesn't have any common sense but there are those around them that do too there's a little of each so uh, but the point is I've seen it all over social media I've seen it everywhere and it's a lot of it is where people are so uneducated and they're they're so busy hunting for uh, some satisfaction that they'll settle for anything. And they're not looking to Scripture for it because they don't, you know, they've been sold a bill of goods about what it is and what it's about and what it's not about. And I have to tell you, if I was ever going to be in a town as small as either one of uh, the towns I've been around lately up there, then... I'll tell you what, I would definitely find a nice, cool place to uh, relax and have some, you know, swim time and a few things because, look, it gets lonely way out there in the boonies and there aren't a lot of people up there and out there and around there and it's, it's hard to imagine what it would be like to be, you know, um... Well, just imagine what it's been like for two weeks during during this uh, summer solstice where we all knew this was a farce. We knew it was a fake. We knew there was some other art of war that was going to happen. And now it's unrolling and unraveling. And you don't think that this, this doctor and this other gal are um, anything more than just puppets in a show. But they've, their criminal activity is like unbelievable. And the art of war is the best I've ever seen with Trump and Pence. I mean, they are good at it. <laughs> and this is great. This dude's going down big time. You know, and it's all his own fault. He is a criminal intent type person who built uh, an entire fortune off of the deaths and uh, the outward looks of people uh, up here you know all over the place he just he just really that's a vicious way to look at things and it's very very sad and very bad but the thing is you can't do anything fast if you're uh, got to have five multiples so uh, that's the way it goes and it gave it gave a person a little bit of time to say hey well yeah you can look at my putter and so the person's out there on the golf course and he's got a nine iron and a you know a woody and a couple of this and that and a putter and he's got to have, make a choice and I'm telling you what that's what everybody here has to make a choice too because you can't just go along in this world the way it has been and expect for everything to just be okay and that's what people were doing after 2001 and 2 they were sitting around and they were trying to relax from a time when it was real bad. And boy, believe me, it was bad. In 2005 and 2006, when the, when the uh, housing market crashed and, and uh, it got worse, I had a person actually tell me in 2007, later 2007, that he thought that this, uh, this thing was going to be a real tough 2008 and 9, And it did. 
This guy was barely able to recover his retirement from his voluntary investment program. And other people I know the same. Uh, I know people that borrowed money against their uh, thing to stay alive, and now they wish they hadn't. I'm one of them. You know, everybody's one of them that has anything to do with, hey, hey, yeah. If you're a responsible person and you needed to do something in 2005 or 6, and you did it, or even 7 and 8, and you did something, you took some action, then you pay for it later, you know? And so this whole this whole entire environment has just been awful. And uh, that's the way it is, you know? And I, I hate to say it uh, some days because I really don't uh, think that we deserve uh, the treatments that we're getting from from people that just don't even care about us, you know? Um, and that's what's happening there. They just don't care. They do not care what they do to you or what they, uh, how they treat you or anything like that. And that's real bad. You know, if you want to talk about slavery, you want to talk about this and that, that's, that's, you know, something else. But today I wanted to talk about this. This is going to be in the news today again. Yesterday, uh, no jobs was in the news. You know, it's like no name. We got a guy name name here. No, no jobs. And um, if you see this, this is the coronavirus and no jobs with a Q. You know, this was painted a long time ago because somebody had, uh, you know, Q drops to read. And they knew that airborne meant whatever. And you can just imagine this, you know, this was a long time ago. But the whole point is, when did uh, uh, Q first talk about, you know, no jobs? And that's when this little virus guy right here came along and he said, no jobs. And you got corny corn over here and you got other images in here that are kind of cool. But the idea is that we, we really have something going on here. And it's really wonderful right now to see all these people scrambling like rats. And they're scrambling everywhere. You know, and it's pretty obvious and it's going gonna, it's gonna to take its toll on America. It's going to slow things down. Today, I think everybody needs to pray. We need to ask God in Jesus' name, Lord, just to help us come to you and praising you for for uh, you are the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Mighty God are you. You're always uh, on, our, on our side and always helping us uh, like as if we were um, unknowing. I mean, we, we just don't know the power and the forces that you have placed for us as tools and it is such a blessing to know in faith that you are there but to have the faith and i just ask lord that you give everyone the eyes to see and the ears to hear and give them the faith that just makes it so that everything they say and everything they do is possible that they will have a positive outlook toward all endeavors that they have and that nothing not anything should steal their joy and slow them down so thank you lord that just is, just came up you know that's something i think we should have done uh you just have to do that <laughs> you know i think you have to put the full armor on as you begin these mornings and and this is a great day today is going to be a great news day uh that thing that kept coming up uh, last night about the 37 on that on that uh one show uh, and all the uh, information that came about on it was just fantastic. And we had that on our evening edition. And it's out there on the website, so you can see it right now. It's on a couple of different websites in different places. Where, where all you are going to go anyway, and wherever your favorite spot is to attach to us, you're welcome to just do it from there. And in show notes today, of course, there was... Um, links to those first two shows there were plenty of links to find out what our channels are and what our locations are so you just have to if you're getting the if you're getting this um this podcast on a video then you have everything you need because all you do is hit the more see more button it's like see more buttons and it opens up and lets you see some links so i have about three minutes and we're going to take a quick break here on the coffee crew show 
and uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a, just a couple minute break and we'll be right back thank you for joining us so uh, welcome back I just wanted to uh, put in a little bit of a statement here you know uh, we're talking about some wild things and, and I just want to talk to you for a minute uh, today's show notes uh, some of them are put over in in uh, the Fifty Shades of Green and we're talking about some money here problems and issues uh, that have to do with freedom and all those kinds of things and we're sharing with you some uh, interesting insight on the freedom to have uh, the opportunity for medical uh, uh, you know uh, medical grow in, in the world and uh, the freedom to do that you know uh, to make rope and and other things happen in medical properties of, of uh, the plant in a natural way you know but the whole idea is that 502 steps in and it takes away your freedom and people don't even realize it they have no idea and so we're going to talk about that on a later edition of the show and I'm actually going to read to you uh, some notes uh, for that and we're going to post that show up in uh, the Fifty Shades of Green because we're talking about money and we're talking about what's happening with all the uh, money that's being uh, brought back and, and reconciled to America from all the uh, other accounts around the world and all kinds of other things and you know what the stealing of our freedom is an amazing thing that happens to us now and again and it sure has happened in our America we only have 17 seconds to uh, let uh, to talk and say thank you very much so that that is uh, a great thing that has happened to us and thank you today for joining us on the coffee crew show and i hope you enjoyed it